The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music. Hi, this is Fat Kevin. 
And when I'm not enjoying the conquering of 60 double cheeseburgers, I'm listening to Liam's live streams. <sighs> They're so good. I like these 60 double cheeseburgers. Well, 50 died now. How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. We're going to take a look at Sable. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. Um, so, um, I don't even know where to start. I, this is one of those things that I didn't think I was going to do. And I'm going to be honest out of the gate. And you guys know me. I'm always very honest. Um, but sometimes I think my honesty... <laughs> gets me into a little trouble um but i'm gonna be honest this is something i really initially was not very interested in um i know some people have been really excited about it i was just kind of like nah. okay you know um i really wasn't I'm sorry i have an itchy beard an itch an itchy mustache uh, I wasn't really... I don't want to say I wasn't down with this. I just... Oh! Garrett Brown donated $2. Thank you, Garrett! Chat. Liam, glad you're back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, if you super chat or donate, uh, our computer will read them. Our, uh... Our Skynet, I guess. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really at first... 
I wasn't really crazy about this, and I'll I'll just be honest. I don't want to lie. I always like to be honest. You you know that's just the way we roll here. Uh, in you know that's how we roll with the Urban Army. Um, but I have to say, over the last few days, I've really gotten interested in this. Um, I want to thank Evan Sky for actually dropping me a message and saying, "Hey Liam, what are you doing?" And I was like, "Well, I was sleeping." And they're like, "Well, you want you want to help us?" And I was like. Can I do it when I wake up? And they're like, yeah, sure. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll see you tomorrow. So uh, they were like, can you help us test uh, Sable a little bit? And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, sounds good. I, I, I can do that um, if I have to. No, I mean, you know, and they're like, you know, do you mind helping us? And I'm like, no, no problem. You know, um, so uh, I've been looking at it since, well, yesterday, actually, to be honest with you. Um, so everything that I'm going to show you has been within just a day of me messing around uh, and fiddling about. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to start by thanking the awesome patrons. Uh, there they are on your screen. I don't think I updated the overlay, so I might be missing a couple of people on your screen, but I do have everyone on stream.l-works.net. So I want to thank Aaliyah Dudley, Anya Kristen, Austin Nix, Bianca Sim... Sim... Cinnamon, cin, cinnamon, 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 yeah, whatever it is. Uh, Jan, Jason Smith, Jim Denham, Kenny, Kevin Lyon, Michael Maslow, Sarah Hawk, Shane Davidson, Simon Yeager, Stephen Latrell, Trevor Johnson. Oh, Tyler super Campus chat. Donated dollar through super chat. Any planned updates for the mod? Uh, hold on, Trevor Johnson. Uh, Axel Schrul, Bryant, Chad Blanco, Changeling, Jack Filichek, Courtney Barton, Marilyn Villa, Roland, Roland, we're just call him Roland because I can't pronounce his last name, Shane Early, and the Evil Chocolate Cookie. Uh, okay, so let's start off. Chat's going crazy, so let me try to get uh, to some stuff. Uh, anything new on the mod? No, uh, not at the moment. Sorry. Um, also, I do want to say hi to you guys. There's a lot of people. Currently, there are 51 of you. Holy cow. Where is this turnout when I do stuff like Rhythm uh, Heaven, man? Where are you guys going? Is uh, Do people not like the mainstream stuff? That, that makes me sad. But that's okay. I understand. Uh, I see Nightbot is back. Um... Uh, so, hey, Roland, how's it going? Hey, Sundui. Uh, hey, Nick. Oh, God, Nick's here. I mean, hey, Nick. Uh, uh, hey, Fluffy Master. Hey, Julia. Hey, Warner. Hey, Camaro. Camaro. Uh, let's see. Christopher's here. How's it going? Uh, Brandon's here. Hello, Brandon. Uh, I don't know if I, if I'm missing you, sorry, uh, nothing personal. I I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to get to everybody that I can. Hello, Adele. Hello, weirdness. Um, Hey Robert, how's it going? Uh, let's see. <coughs> All right. So, uh, I couldn't, I, couldn't tell you weren't that interested the way you promoted what do you mean i i don't understand austin hey axel how's it going uh guten tag hello i, I don't know uh oh god if that's skynet then how's your motorcycle um you can use uh discord or the uh, YouTube live stream. Also, if you use Discord, please use the live. Um, there's a live streams channel on the Discord server. Um, please use that. I'm only going to check that. I can't be jumping around between channels. Uh, how am I keeping stream reader on my stream? Multiple sound cards. Uh, and a, uh, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh my God. Uh, guys, if I miss a message, please, again, don't take it personal. Um, 
I can't keep up. There's so many people. But that's okay. Oh, he's my... Okay, I got to call you Mike. Well, uh, careful, Liam. You don't want me to do anything untoward now, do you? That sounds messy. Please don't do that. And if you're going to do it, do it by yourself. Uh, how do you join the Discord? Well, if you notice in uh, chat there... Uh, Nightbot has been posting a link to stream.l-works.net. If you visit that page, it has all sorts of goody, goody information, such as the audio link. If you don't want the YouTube stream, although please, if you can, please use YouTube. Um, it's got the Discord server. It's got the ways to donate if you want to. And it's got the Patreon link if you want to do that, too. That's totally up to you guys. Uh, I was promoting the video pretty heavily. Oh, um... I was interested. I wanted to see them do well. Look, I want to see them succeed because I think they're a good group, good group of people. I just, it did not jump out at me and make me go, Oh my God, this is the most amazing thing ever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, but at the same time, I do want to see them succeed. And I, it's not like, you know, um, Okay, so here's what I'm going to do really quick. There's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, let me start with some bad news. Um, if you guys, the ones that, if, if you guys are the ones that look at, um, for anyone that looks at the camera, uh, some people have noticed that in the background there is a cage. Now, if you look in the background, there is no cage. Um, there is no more cage. And if you're wondering what was in the cage, uh, there was a guinea pig. And uh, that was Michelle. And Michelle was a fixture here for almost eight years. Unfortunately, last Sunday, um, the day before my birthday, Michelle passed away, we think, in her sleep. Um, so this room is uh, down one companion. There's no more guinea pig. Uh, so what I'd like to do, which is kind of corny, and I know it's for a guinea pig, uh, I'm going to have a brief moment of silence. So if you're doing something, please just stop for about 10 seconds. And uh, let's join us in a moment of silence for Michelle. Thank you. Um, so that's the unfortunate news. Um, that's the bad news. And I wanted to get that out of the way brandon cross donated five dollars thank you brandon super chat fun fact spring steel is only spring steel if you don't bend it too far <laughs> then it becomes snap steel snap steel <laughs> thank you brandon um also that one didn't i heard the ring go off but the little oh artem thank you so much um, that one, because it was only 99 cents, it didn't read it. Um, I thought I set it to do any amount, but it's not doing it that way. I apologize. Um, anyways, I do want to thank you guys so much for the thoughts. I've gotten a lot of thoughts and well wishes over the week. It's, it's been hard. Uh, I was going to do a stream for my birthday, which was last Monday. And I just, that happened. And I just, I didn't have the heart to do anything. I, all I wanted to do was sleep, you know, um, Anyways, um, but the good news that I'm excited about is I just uh, am uh, I just ordered this morning uh, a new computer and uh, I'm doing something that I normally wouldn't do, um, but I'm getting an Alienware and uh, this has some really nice specs on it. It's an AMD 3700 with a really sweet uh, video card, a GeForce 2060 Super. Uh, and, uh, you know, should be nice. Uh, so I will be able to do some more gaming stuff and I'm excited because I'll be able to stream some newer PC games, uh, and I'll be able to play them better. And I'm excited about that. And it's also going to be nice to have a machine that's not really, really old. Um, so that is really cool. Um, so you know, anyways, I want to apologize. I know people are coming in here going, we're Sable, we're Sable. Um, I just wanted to get some, you know, 
laundry out of the way. Uh, usually, you know, it's it's been a while since I've streamed, so it's been one of those things where I just wanted to get a little stuff out of the way. And now that we're out of the way, let's start talking about Sable. So what is Sable? Sable is a system or a tool, if you want to call it a tool, um, to let you create RPGs. And these are audio RPGs. And um, the what the big thing about Sable is, and this is what they're pushing, and there's a good and a bad to it. We'll, we'll talk about that a little more in a minute. But uh, Sable is code free. So you don't have to write a single line of code to make your game. Now, uh, let's talk about that for a minute because we've seen projects in the past attempt to do the same thing and they have been not very successful, let's say. Um, Sable actually is fairly successful in what it's doing. Um, there are definitely, and, I, and one thing I, I noticed as I dug, there were things I wanted to do and couldn't. And a lot of that comes from the fact that this is a prototype. So what I'm going to be playing with today and showing you is a prototype. This is not a completed project. It is not done. In fact, it is going to, as far as I know, it is going to be rewritten in a different language. So as a prototype, uh, it was written in BGT. And so before you jump and go, oh my God, that's awful. I don't want to touch it. Keep in mind, this is a prototype. This is a proof of concept. It is called an alpha but I have to be honest with you, I would not even call an alpha. I would call it a prototype. I would call it a proof of concept. Um, so I know it is supposed to publicly drop tomorrow. And uh, so these are something, you know, things I would keep in mind and that I would tell people is that this is a proof of concept. This is a, will this work? Will people like it? Does it do what people need it to do? It is not a finished product. It is not being, you know, going out Tyler the door. Tyler Chambliss donated dollar through Super Chat. Good choice on the tower. Thank you. Uh, hopefully I don't regret it. Uh, but so I, I want to point that out because it's something that like I know has been talked about. And I've been, I mean, again, this is, we're going to be honest here. I've been very critical of that. Um, that's something that I have not been a huge fan of i have really stated my displeasure with that but i understand that this is a proof of concept it is not a finished product and so you know these are just things that we have to keep in mind all right so i'm gonna try to catch up on messages really quick if i don't read your message out loud it doesn't mean i haven't seen it i just i can't read every message otherwise we'll be here until next year um so I do want to thank you guys. I also want to thank all 61 of you for being here. Thank you so much. Um, this is great. I really appreciate it. Um, what I need to do really quick is set myself to do not disturb. Uh, let's do that. Okay. And I'm going to check uh, Discord really quick. Nothing. Okay. So again, if you're running in Discord, please do not write in the general channel. Please write in the live streams channel. Uh, if it's in general, I'm not going to read it until the stream's over. If it's in live streams, I'll check it uh, uh, from time to time. So let's talk about Sable. So Sable, uh, like I said, is a uh, system to create RPGs. So I'm going to break this into two parts. Part one, I'm going to kind of show you how parts of the engine work. I'm not going to go through everything because you can really get into this engine and you can really dig and you can customize uh, a lot of things. So I don't want to do all of that. But what I'd like to do is show you how some things work and then we're going to play a game. So I spent the last day creating a small RPG uh, complete with some voice acting. Uh, so we got, you know, that to look forward to. Um, and so I'm going to show you uh, what a, I can't even call it a completed game, but what a game would look like and how it would play. And uh, we'll, you know, try it out. So let's start 
at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. Um, okay. Starlock. You are weird. Dude, you're strange. You could do it, though. I mean, why you would, I'll never know. But you could do it. All right. So let's open up Sable. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am pretty sure that my settings don't save across. So I've, I've got two folders. I have like a – if you ever watched like the cooking shows, they'll have like the food and then they'll have like the finished food. So like I've got the, you know, the cooking folder and then I've got like my finished folder that has my game in it. So we've got a second folder here that we're going to just like start a brand new uh, thing here. So um, product key edit. Oh, what in the heck? OK, hold on. Uh, let me go grab that. I forgot that because I'm running. So one of the things is that you got a product key. And, you you know, um, I don't know how they're going to do that for the public version, but for our um, quality testing, uh, we got keys. My bad. Let me. Uh... Oh, there it is. Thank you. OK, so let me. Uh... OK, product key. OK. That's my key. Uh oh. Well, that's muy bad. Uh. That's not good. You know, I probably should have uh planned this out ahead of time. Uh, oopsie doopsie. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, hold on. We're uh, we're having some issues here. Some technical issues, and you know what? One of the technical issues is because it's BGT. Guess what happened? That's right. Windows Defender is cranky, and that's a big reason why I don't like BGT. But again, I'm not going to harp on that. It's not. Look. It's a prototype, so I'm letting it go. This would be different if they were like, this is our final version. Then, yeah, it wouldn't be so pretty. Um, but I, I'm, you know, sometimes you just have to, um, you know, accept certain things and just let it go. So, I still have to restore this stupid thing. One sec. I need hold music. <laughs> need like the girl from Ipanema. While we're all right, let's see here. Uh, Product key edit. Home. C V. All right, so I should have. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, so Welcome what I'm going to, the to alpha do test version of Sable 1.8 by Evan Sky Studios is I'm going to main menu um, play game change load project my speech engine new project sounds and voice navigational I'll systems. I'll talk all about this stuff in a second. So just sounds, a second. please select. Adjust volume, mute sounds, set key echo, select sappy voice. Please select voice. Microsoft David Death, Code Factory ETI Eloquence UK English. Code Factory ETI Eloquence US English. Alright, wait for it to do its thing. Got Main it. menu, there please select go. play game. Load project, right. new and project, sounds and voice, please select mute sound, set key, select sap, adjust sappy speech rate. Use 1112. Speech rate saved. All right. So, um, main menu, please select. Sable runs in three modes. Sable runs in um, our editor mode, or we, we they call it create mode. 
or creator mode. Uh, a debug mode, which kind of lets you walk through your game and try things. And a play mode, which lets you play your game. So... Anyways, um, ba, 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 ba. so uh, we're going to be in create mode for a little while. And so play we're going to just game, uh, game, create game. New project. Enter project a name. name. Um, and we're going to call this game. Um, we're going to call it. Um, oh, I know what we're going to call it. We're going to call it... No, I actually don't know what I'm going to call it. i got to think of a name. Why is this so hard for me? Um... B -O -R -N -G boring. Boring -E -E Adventure. Please enter a name for the map. This is the name that will be spoken when the player enters the map. Press escape so no name is spoken when the player enters. B-O-R-I-N-G. Boring. T -O boring Town. Please enter a reference for the map. This is not All right, and we're going to just call it reference one. one. Please enter the map length you would like your map to have. Right. This must be a the length. Five now, a maximum of 100 edit. this actually should be width, and the next one should be height, but I'm going to just be nitpicking. So I'm going to make a um, map Three, that is zero. 30 squares map by 30 Please squares the map height you would like your map to have. The maximum by allowed for a map of two the tiles two. high. Please map type. Now I can choose my type. Outdoors, well, indoors, I map, want outdoors. Map. outdoors. Please select the rain type to fill map with. Press and escape to set as default terrain. I'm going to fill my map Asphalt. with Asphalt. Broken con concrete, dirt, grass, gravel. Save all these terrains. Hollow metal, ice, leaves, metal, mud, sand, shallow water, snow, solid metal, stone, water, wooden floor. All right, so I'm going to do Asphalt. broken concrete, dirt, grass. Grass. Music. Please select background music for the map. All right, ma background music. So, um, when you get Sable, it ships with some assets, um, and so you'll find out that when I play my demo project, my we'll say my finished uh, dish, uh, it has some custom assets. So you can actually put in your own stuff. Mysterious Glen. On the road to adventure. Soundtrack one. Soundtrack two. Soundtrack. So I'm gonna use one. soundtrack one. Ambiences. Please select background ambience and for the map. What map. ambience do I want? Burst underscore light underscore two. Creaky underscore three underscore and underscore wind. Cricket underscore light underscore loop. Dungeon. Frog chorus. Ocean waves. Storm. Stormy wind. Two underscore underscore more underscore frogs underscore wind underscore and wind underscore. Right, I'm gonna use underscore light, burst underscore birds. light underscore new project created. Generate right. a new map. So here we are. We are on our map. And there's all sorts of keys we can use for things. Um, again, I'm not, this is not a demo to go over like what every key is, what it does. We're just gonna build a little bit and kind of show you some of the features. So I am here X1, Y1, at Z1, 111. Um, that is the top left corner of the grid. And that is the bottom uh, layer of the map. So the map is in layers. Uh, it has a height of two. So if you wanted to like have a ladder that would go up to a higher part of the map, you could do that. So you can kind of have like two maps on top of each other pretty much. Um, I can talk about that a little bit more later because we'll, I'll make a building. And... So, you know. So, anyways, just a quick second. Uh, hey, Sterlock, you're here. Or can you do a little moderating for me, please? I got it. We just have someone being a little frisky right now, so there we go. Okay, anyways, sorry about that. We just, someone was being a little frisky. Okay, so here we go. Um, as you will see, uh, we have our... X1, Y1, Z1, press. We have our space here, X1, Y1, Z1. And uh, I can move around using my arrows, and the entire map is grass. So there's nothing here at the moment. Now, 
Uh, Sable has a plethora of tools for us to use. We can change the environment. We can change walls. So if we want to like build a corn maze, we could do it. Um, we can set sounds for things. We can do all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a signpost. Object. Please select object to place. Barrel. Building creator. Container. Door slash transition. Fast travel waypoint. Merchant. Person. Save point. Signpost. Size transition. Sound height. Trigger object. And I'm not going to talk about Trigger every object. single one of these, but we Save want point. a signpost. Signpost. If you would like to enter a custom name for the signpost, I'm going enter to it here. This is the name of the player just the leave it as signpost. Please enter the signpost's description. This okay. will be announced if the player presses the description. A A S I S I O S C. Period. Yeah, that's really all I need to say. Please select the signpost tile sound. This all is right, the sound so we can choose sounds for the, the tiles. Corpse. Uh, we have a corpse sound. I don't know. Does the shift... Yeah, okay. So shift P, it doesn't tell you there, but shift P will let you hear what the sound sounds like. Metal post. Stone cliff. And I'm going to put cliff. a metal post. metal post. So those are the three sounds <coughs> that are currently in that folder. Now, again, um, you can add whatever sound you want. And when you get this, there's documentation on how to do that. So read the docs when you get it. Um, but we're going to use the metal sound. Please select radar sound. For no and radar sound, press escape. Radar sound means what we hear as we're moving around and we're getting near something. Flies. So we have flies. Rattling object. Rattling object. Sparkles. <coughs> and sparkles. Yeah, I don't like that. Sparkles. We're going to use rattling, rattling object. object. Please enter the text that will be spoken. All right. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. Welcome. T O two B O R I N G. Boring. T O N period town E N O Y enjoy O U R R B O R I N G O S T U F period welcome to boring town enjoy our boring stuff press enter to place the creator all right object. so then I can put the object wherever I want it in this case I'm already where I want it to be so I'm just gonna signpost drop it down okay so you'll hear that the signpost is making a noise so as I move away from it it kind of moves off to the distance. Um, standard fare for, you know, these games. Uh, I think we know how it works. Um, so I can explore my map and, uh, there's my signpost. Signpost. I can press space to interact with it. Welcome to Boring Town. Enjoy our boring stuff. Uh, Shift D will let me look at the signpost. A signpost. Yeah, that's the description I wrote. So, that's nice, right? I mean, we have a signpost. It's kind of dull. Now, you're probably sitting here going, well, gee, Liam, you mean the whole city is just a big grassy field? And no, we're going to draw. Uh, I like to draw. Uh, hopefully you like to draw, too. Uh, so we're going to do a little drawing here and we're going to draw a road and we're going to talk about how that works. So one of the really cool things that Sable gives you is the ability to quickly draw things. Uh, and they use what they're calling a brush. And the brush is really neat because brush size set to one. you can change the size of the brush. Um, and depending on the size of the brush is how many tiles are filled in while you are um, while you are uh, brushing. All right, so. I'm going to start drawing a little dirt road here. And if you're wondering why I'm trying to go to there, uh, it's because when I start drawing, I'm going to draw by threes. And so every time I drop something, it puts me in the, like, I'll be dropping it in the center of that three by three square. Um, so again, this is kind of, it's hard to really explain. It's one of the things that as you mess with it, you'll understand. So uh, I'm going to change my terrain to oh terrain we go. Asphalt, to we're going to use concrete, dirt. dirt. I want to make a dirt road, and uh, brush side, brush side, set I set three. my brush to three. I can either press enter, and if you notice, we got signpost. My dirt. Now I could kind of go here and. Drop them this way, or I can hold down the, the uh, shift key and start pressing the down arrow and draw my road. 
drawing my road all the way down. And I'm going to draw it all the way down to the corner. And look, I have a road that is three squares, three squares wide, excuse me, and covers the entire left uh, section traveling vertically downwards. So that's great. That's nice. We got a road. But what does that really mean if we don't have anything to go visit? So I am going to build a building. Now, you'll probably remember hearing that the... Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build right a side, small one. road. And build it here. There we go. So at roughly... X1, Y11, Z1, Y11. X4, Y11, Z1, We're going to dirt. build that. So I'm going to build a, um, a place here. X9, Y11, Z1, X9, Y11. So I'm going to build a building. So Office. my building is going to be a tavern. This is always a great start. Building container. Uh, building creator. So we're going to build a building. Now, you actually theoretically could probably draw everything out yourself, uh, including doors, including little landmarks to tell you uh, what you're near, blah, blah, blah. But who wants to do that? I mean... If it can do it for us, that's so much better. Building creator. So, uh, building creator. Please enter a name for the building edit. Uh, we're gonna call this the boring, -E boring. tavern. Please enter the building's height edit. One. Uh, the building's height in this case is gonna be one. We could actually make it two squares tall, and then we could actually make an upper floor. We're not doing that. We're just gonna do one uh, tall. Please select floor type for building. All right. So floor type. Asphalt, broken co concrete, dirt, grass, gravel. Same as all the other ones. Wooden floor. We're gonna say wooden floor. Please select wall type for the wood. Wooden walls. Please select background music for the building. Uh, background music. Mysterious I'm gonna to stick to with one. the soundtrack one. Please select ambience for the building. Uh, ambience for the building. Now I don't have in the standard assets. There's not a tavern sound, which I wish there was, but that's okay. No, no big deal. Birds I'm going to use birds, birds birds, birds, because why not? Have some birds inside. Press enter to place the All right. Object. So now I'm going to press enter to place it where I want it to go. And in this case, I would like it. Oh, I, I'm where I want it to go. Okay. So I'm going to put it there. Now, this is where it gets touchy for me. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to put the top left corner uh, right here. So when you place a building, this is where your top left corner goes. Uh, again, this is when you read the documentation. A lot of this is coming from reading, so it's not something you just pick up and start using. You do need to read. Um, maybe down the line there will be like some help text in the application, but for the moment, you just gotta learn. All right, so I'm going to actually, you know, there we go. We're gonna. We don't need it's it's a boring tavern. It's small. It's small and boring. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to drop uh my building mode activated. There. Press and keep the shift key held down, then use the arrow and keys to size your width one, length width two, length width three, width four, width five, length zero, length one, width length two, width length three, width length four, width length. We're gonna five, build a five by five. five tavern. Building size set. Press the return key to place a door. This must be on one of the building's walls. Press escape to exit the building creator. Building wall. Okay, so I'm building wall. See, I can't go outside the wall to make sure that I got building it right. Wall. Building wall. Which is really stressing me out. Uh, hopefully, I put the door in the right place. If not, I guess I could redraw the road, uh, which is no big deal. It's just annoying when you have to. So I'm going to put the door here. Please select door title sound. This door. And we're just going to use the door. And, we'll door open. Building. That. and our look, building we got our building. And oh, I did it right! Leaving in front of boring Look at tavern. that! All right, so we got. Let's go back up to the tippity top here. We got our sign that welcomes us, welcomes us to our boring uh, town. Welcome to boring town. Enjoy our boring stuff. All right, so we're gonna head down. Oh, where's my? Uh... Oh, that might be. 
in front of Boring Tavern. And there's our Boring, boring tavern. tavern. So we'll press space to interact with the door. And uh, look, we're actually inside of our Boring Thanks Tavern. Boring tavern. Ooh. And there's not a lot going on. In, there's nothing going on in our tavern. So what does our tavern need? Well, it needs a person. And... Uh, So I'm going to build a person and part of building this person means that I'm going to build a basic quest. Now you can actually build people that like don't do anything. So if you're like familiar with the old like 80s RPGs where there were people that didn't say anything, uh, I believe you can build people that just have like a static line of dialogue. I think if not, I wish you could. Optics. We're going to try it. Container. Door slash tra fast travel merchant person. Right, so we're gonna build a person. person's name edit. B A R R S R A B We're gonna call him the boring B O R T B A R R T E N D E R. Please enter person's description. This will be announced if the player presses the description. I'm not gonna describe him. Would you like to use a pre-recorded voice? Um yes, no. no, I'm I have not recorded lines for him. Select sound set. Diddler, mail. Uh we're gonna use mail. So now you also have what are called sound sets. So uh I'm not again, this is more stuff I don't want to get into but you can have um, sound sets for NPCs. So again, this is all stuff that you can read about. Does this person set the player a task? Uh, does this person set the, oh! Yes, no. No, they do not set the player a task. Please enter the initial text that will be spoken when the person is first interacted with edit. Hello there, I do not have any beer for sale right now. Would you like to add more dialogue? Yes. Would you like no. to add more dialogue? No. Press enter to place the created object. I'm gonna put him right there. Boring bartender. So there's my boring bartender. So I can walk up to him. Boring bartender. Press space. Uh, press space. He's not boring talking to me. Oh, because we're in uh, Crigate. Sorry. I forgot that they don't let you do that. Um, so no big deal. So let's make somebody that's not so boring. We're going to make a boring drunk. Because every bar has a drunk. Don't look at me like that. That was a long time ago. Please enter person's name edit. B O R N boring D U N A. Please enter person's description. I'm not this describing be him because I don't care. Would you like to use a pre recorded voice? Uh, yes, no. No, so we're not doing that. Mail. We'll Does mail. this person set the player a task? Does this player set the per yes. player a task? Yes. Please give the quest a name edit. All right, we're going to make this. Uh, this quest is called. Um, F I N D find. T A E A D U N A. If you would like the quest to have a description, please enter the description here. This can be viewed by the quest. The drunk lost his wallet somewhere in Boring Town. Your job. Find it. Please give the key to this task completion key a name. So we have. Okay. So what that what a key means, it doesn't necessarily mean a key to a door. What that means is the object that is picked up to mark that the quest has been completed. And this does not actually have to be something that you physically pick up. Um, they can be invisible objects, which are things that can be used to determine if a task is complete. If a mob has been killed, it, they can kind of be used as variables per se. Um, I don't oh. want to get into all that, boring but we're going to call it a uh, boring, -E boring wallet. Boring wallet. If you would like the key to have a description, please all enter right. the description here. This wallet is boring and smells pretty bad. Is this a physical item which the player will hold? Yes. So no. that means yes. that we're going to actually have to go find it. Please enter the text or, that will be spoken when the NPC is interacted with. This is the text that will explain the task request. A E Y Y O U period U I A P A S M I D U N N U R R U A period run I I U R E D figure Y O U G E S S E D S A A T A O U H period O I I E E D D M Y Y W L E T here wallet I T O S S O E D R E S S O N here town P L L E P E A S E L E F I D F I D I D Oh, so I see a -E 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 period. Hey you, 
I'm drunk. I figured you guessed that though. I need my wallet. It's somewhere in town. Please find it so I can further destroy my liver. <laughs> Please enter the text that will be spoken when the NPC is interacted with before the task request is complete edit. I. I. S. I. L. S. D. E. E. D. D. T. H. A. W. L. E. T. Period. Wallet. Please enter the text that will be spoken. A. R. R. A. Y. Exclude. A. O. Dub now. I. I. C. A. N. Can. K. I. L. F. M. Y. I. V. E. R. Deliver. T. A. N. A. S. Thanks. M. R. U. M. R. O. R. O. R. M. S. U. M. S. A. D. V. E. N. T. U. R. E. R. Period. Please enter the text that will be spoken if you interact with the NPC once the task is completed. Edit. Uh, I need to think of some good text. Star. P U K E S. Star. Press enter to place the created Pukes. object. Pukes. I'm going to put him. Put him over here. Boy, <clears throat> Oh! Oh, he's talking. Oh, we have sounds. Boring bartender. Oh, they must be some uh, cool. Okay. All right, so we have our drunk. All right, so now we're going to go put his wallet somewhere. So I'm going to talk about one thing I don't like. Um, at the moment, you have to put objects inside of containers. Leaving in front of Boring Tavern. So I can't go drop this. Uh, somewhere. I have to go put it in a barrel, but I'm going to go put it in a barrel. That's fine. I like barrels. Barrels are simple. They're pre-made containers. You break them open with the space bar. Um, they're just, it's a nice quick way to store something. I want to put the boring wallet in there. Boring wallet. One added. Press enter to place the created object. And I'm putting it barrel. right there. So the barrel is created. The barrel exists. It's right there. Um, Game now, one thing map. I'm going to save do map. is save my map. map saved. And um, South we'll play it in just a moment. I want to set a couple options here. Um, so this has all sorts of options you can set for your game. Uh, which we do need to set. set party starting size. Um, we're going to set, set party starting size. our Enter starting size, four, four, which is four, land, land, one. one. Set party starting size. Allow user um, to choose starting party member classes and names. No, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, no, whatever. Okay, fine. Set currency name. Uh, set currency set name. I don't map. care about. Set starting map. Please select map one. One set oh, a starting yeah. map. Visit this map to place the character starting point on the map. Set starting map. Game over text. Okay. Set starting map. Set currency. Set game over. Game over music. The game now, saving method. I gotta remember where Enter to set. Mode. Set party starting size. Project options. Um, my starting south position. The boring tavern. Leaving south of boring tavern. Okay, so I'm here on the map. Where do I set starting position again? Items, armor, weapons, abilities, status effects, enemies, uh, enemy mans for one, key and quest items, adding sounds, view all options. These are all things. Again, this a lot of stuff, but you don't have to worry about it right now. Objects. Please select object. Uh, where would I set the starting? Creation tool, ability, create armor, enemy, create item, status of weapon, create weapon, creation tool. Now that's if you want to make, creation you ability, can make everything tool, from ability, creation tool, abilities, armor, creation tool, armor enemy, creation tool, enemies, item, creation tool, item, create, you can create items, status effects, creation status tool, effects, weapon, creation tool, weapons, weapon, creation so you can create all your own stuff here. Music, please select. All right, that's music. Adding sounds, please. Objects, bear, building, contain, door slash, fast trap, merchant, person, save, sign, post, size, trigger, sound, I don't know where to start. Trigger object, trigger um, object. Trigger objects I'm not going to get into. Um, where do I, how do I set the starting please select for this? Classes. I can't remember. Classes. Project options, view all objects, project op, please select. Set party starting size. Set Allow user to choose set currency set name. Set, set starting map. Set player starting location. Set oh, there it is. Right there. Find the player starting position on the map. Then press enter to set. To exit placing starting position mode, press escape. Well, I'm going to put it right there. Player starting position set. There we go. Okay. Game then save map. Load map. Save, save map. Map save. All right, so my map is saved. I'm. Let me get to some messages here. Uh, we're going to turn that down. Uh, I realize I've been doing a lot and I haven't read... 
Med, uh, I haven't read any uh, messages. Uh, Liam should make name this archive boredom gone wrong. <laughs> Let's make someone who's not boring then proceeds to make a boring drunk. Well, you know. Uh, I want a tavern. I want to serve rum and gin. Well, you could make a merchant and then you could have, you can make rum and gin items and have him sell those. So you could make that. That's completely doable. Um, okay. So really quick, I'm just going to check a couple things really quick. Just want to see um, how we're... How we're doing, see if there's anything that's come up here. Uh, someone asking, what's the dong dong noise? That means I'm hitting the edge of the map. Um, kind of wish, um, you know, would be, uh, I, I kind of wish there was a different sound that was less jarring, but you know, hey, again, you could change everything. So, I mean, the sky is the limit. And even then, I think you could probably go higher than that. All right, so let's let's play our game. We, I mean, literally, we have like one little quest. Let's play our quest, though. Game menu, save, load map, new map, sounds and navigation, return to main title. Are you sure you want? Yes. yes. Welcome to the alpha test version of Sable 1.8 by Even Sky Studios. Main menu, play game. Please select. Right, we're going to create new game. Create new game. Please enter a name for the save file edit. Save file one. Please select project. Boring adventure. Boring adventure. Auto set party for testing purposes. This will create a warrior, monk, cleric, and mage. Yes. No. No. Please select the gender for your first party male. I'm going to make a male. Please enter this character's name edit. B O R N G. Boring. Please select boring's class. Warrior. He's a warrior. All party members successfully created. If you wish to rename any party members, this can be done in the character information screen again. Boring town. All right, so here we are. We're in Boring Town. All right, so let's uh, immediately go read our sign. sign. Oh, a sign! I should look at it. A sign post. Oh. Welcome to Boring Town. Enjoy our boring stuff. Okay. Well, I'll head down the room. Now, I can look at the map by pressing M. To start tracking, please select item below. Once back in the game, press T for a Boring Tavern North 3, East 6. Boring Tavern North 3, East 6. Boring Tavern, Boring Tavern North 3. Oh, North 3, East 6. In front of Boring Tavern, grab the Boring Tavern. All right, so I'm going to go into the tavern. And here I am. Hey, boring Mr. Bartender. bartender. Get some uh, beer for me? Hello there. I do not have any beer for sale right now. Well, you suck. Are you sure? Hello there. I do not have any beer for sale right now. All right. What about Mr. Drunk? Boring What's drunk. he got? There he Boring is. Drunk. Hey, you. I'm drunk. I figured you guessed that, though. I need my wallet. It's somewhere in town. Please find it so I can further destroy my liver. Find the drunk's wallet and the quest log. All right. So I can check my quest log with Q. Below our list of all your active quests. And we have find, find the, the drunk's, drunk's wallet. wallet. The drunk lost his wallet somewhere in Boring Town. Your job. Find it. All right. And of course, since I made the game, I know where his wallet is. It's behind the tavern because he went back there to um, to piddle. Now, I don't hear. Well, there we go. You found the following items. So boring wallet. The barrel is now empty. All right, so I found his wallet. We'll head back to town. South of Boring Tavern. South of Boring Tavern. Leaving south of Boring in front of Boring Tavern. In front of Boring Tavern. In front of Boring Tavern. And we'll go talk to him. Boring drunk. <clears throat> Hooray, now I can kill my liver. Thanks, MR. Or MS. Adventurer. Asterisk, Q's asterisk. <laughs> so, um, what I can do, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit, I can make what are called events. So here's the drunk. Well, we're in gameplay mode right now, so I'd have to go back to creation. Game menu. Please select exit game. 
But, uh, Return to main title. Are you sure you want? Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the alpha test version of Sable so 1.8. I'll just show you really quick how one of these would play work. Game. Play game. Um, Load project. New project. So, new project. Uh, load project. Load Please select project. project. Boring adventure. Boring adventure. Please select map to load. One. Open boring town. So, we gotta go back to the... And actually, hammer. what you can do is hammer. you can actually... Please select. Project view all panning south view all off below is a lit signpost north entrance to boring tavern south. What would you like to move to entrance to boring? Yes, entrance to boring tavern. You can actually have it move you there uh, if you don't want to walk all the way to it. Boring drunk. So let's uh, check out our boring drunk. So if we press the Please command here, object attribute you want we to can... Amend. Event trigger. Event trigger. Event trigger. Select when you would like the trigger to fire. So we, each guy only for the moment has one trigger. Before Boring Drunk's first line of speech, this will fire as soon as the player tries to talk to Boring Drunk. His speech will then follow after the event trigger has fired. So that could be anything from giving you something to stabbing you. I don't know. After setting the task, once the player has returned and completed the task, final speech, if attempting to speak to the NPC after already completing their task, once the right, player so has I returned like the, and completed um, the task, completing the task. please select okay. if you wish for a cutscene or music change. If not, select none. So if you want maybe a cutscene to play, if you've recorded a cutscene, you can Change do that. that cutscene. None. Uh, I'm gonna choose none. Enter any text you would like spoken. Leave blank if you want no text spoken. Edit. I don't want any text spoken. Select event trigger. Add boring drunk to player's party. All right, so yeah, we could add the drunk to our party. Alter encounter rate. We could alter an encounter rate. So maybe by giving the wallet to the drunk, we've made all the orcs in the in the mountains angry. So I don't know why, but again, it's it's your world. You do what you want with it. Battle. Uh, maybe we could have uh, the drunk's mom bust into the bar, and we'd have to fight her because she's angry that we're helping destroy his liver. End game. Uh, maybe this is the end of our game. Maybe we're okay with what we've done, and we don't want to do anything else. Move player's location. Uh, maybe we want to move the player to somewhere else. So maybe the drunk is so happy he smacks the player over the head with a hammer, and the player wakes up in the hospital. None. Uh, maybe we don't want to do anything. Player damage. Um, oh, maybe we want the drunk to get so excited that he kicks the player in a place that the player shouldn't be kicked. Restore party. Uh, maybe the uh, the drunk is so happy that he heals us. Uh, how? I don't know. Reward an item. Experience uh, and money. Or one of my personal favorites is reward an item, experience Please or select. money. So I don't want to give the player anything, would you like to reward but I would item? like to yes. no. would give you like the to player experience? Oh, yes. some experience. Please enter any experience. Zero. And so Zip I'm going to give him 20 Two, experience. Please enter any gold reward you would like this event and to assign to the, the drunk's party. not giving Edit. him gold. Zero. The drunk wants all the gold for himself so he can drink more. Enter any text you would like spoken after um, the event trigger added. So now event we have a trigger. trigger. So I'm not going to replay the game just to show you, game but Save if it. I were Map to play saved. the game and I gave the wallet back to him, he would give me 20 experience, but I could do all sorts of things. So again, it's your world. Sky's the limit. The Ebon Sky. Brian says you could probably make a really good game with this thing. So I've been really, when I've been doing this, I haven't shown you guys the kludginess. Like, there's some things that you can't do. There's certain things that are, like, kind of weird. And I don't want to get into that because I want to be positive. I want to show the good things. Um, but, again, it's a prototype. So I don't want to sit here and be like, well, it doesn't do this. It should do this. It doesn't do this. I, look, it's a prototype. For what it does, it's pretty good. So battle the drunk. So if I wanted to battle the drunk, I would have to make a drunk enemy. No, I don't mean the enemy. Like I mean the enemy would have to be called drunk. Um. So that is just a little breakdown on like doing really basic stuff. Now we can do doors that will take us to different maps. We can make all sorts of things. Pretty much you're only limited by your imagination and limited by the fact that there is no scripting. Um, that's kind of bothersome, and like I said, I'm not going to lie. I I was a little bothered by that, but I'm at the end of the day... Game menu, exit game. Are you sure? Yes, yes. It's okay. So, 
uh, I could sit here for another hour and we could build like a forest with an orc or a wolf and we could fight them. But listen, this comes out tomorrow. This is all stuff you guys can do. This is all stuff you can mess with. So I thought that I would show you a demo of a game. So how about we start playing my game called Ye Old Adventure. And uh, Ye Old Adventure is an RPG where you, well, there's no plot. I mean, it's, let's be honest. Uh, I never wrote a plot for this thing. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of the best games in the world have no plot. Look at Beep. Don't look at me like that. Beep's a good game. Welcome to the alpha test version of Sable 1.8. I even Sky Studios. Main menu. Play game. Play game. All right. So we're going to new project. play, play game. game. Please select. Create new game. Create Please enter a game. name for the save, save file one. Save Please file select one. project. The old adventure. The old adventure. The old village. So here we are in Ye Old Village. And uh, I'm not going to worry about my coordinates. We're just going to play. So as you guys know, we have a sign. Now you're going to notice right away, there's some custom music and some custom sounds. Uh, I have not done a lot of customizing, but I've done some customizing for music and for a couple environments. Um... And I did pre-recorded speech for some NPCs. So our NPCs are going to talk to us. So let's check out the signpost. A metal post with a sign stuck to it. Welcome to the old village. As this is your starting location, there is pretty much nothing to do here. It's just how games like this work. You start off with a pretty dull starting location, and nothing really cool happens until much later in the game. Feel free to visit the old tavern to the east, and take a swim in the old pond to the north. The old meadow is to the south, but you should find a weapon first before going there. Wolves live there, and they have a tendency to chomp adventurers. Plus, this forces you to do at least one of many pointless quests this game has to offer. All right, so we, we kind of get our breakdown. So we'll head to ye old tavern right off the bat. We're going to, you know, want to... Oh, you, go, you always go to the tavern for quests. That's how it works. Surfer. All right, so, oh, we have a surfer. A young man with a tan and a towel. Oh, let's talk to this dude. See what he has to say. I, I bet, guys, I bet he has a quest for us. All right, an adventurer. Hey, could you do me a favor, man? So, uh... My grandpa gave me this surfboard a long time ago, and I was surfing in the pond, and, uh, well, I, I lost my surfboard in the pond. Could, could you go get it? Find the surfboard at the quest box. All right, so we have a quest. Below are a list of all your active quests. Find the surfboard. The surfer wants you to find his surfboard. The pond would be a good place to look. In other words, that's where it is. Find the surfboard. All right, and uh, let's talk to him. Uh, got anything else you can tell us? Uh, I think you're missing something. I think you're missing a surfboard that my grandpa gave me. It's in the pond. Go get it, loser. Okay. Anyone else we can talk to? The satanic speak and spell. The satanic speak and spell? What? A small rectangular device sits on the table. It contains a display screen plus a QWERTY keyboard. Waves of malevolent energy emit from the device. I don't know if we should talk to this, you guys. Should we talk to the speak and spell? I'll take a vote on this. I don't know if this is such a good idea. I'm taking a vote before I do it. I'm kind of scared of this thing. I don't know if that's such a good thing. A speaking spell that's not satanic is scary enough. I'm not sure how I feel. Yes, talk to the speaking spell, says Garrett. Uh, Pratik says, go ahead. Emulation says, yes. Mitchell says, do it. All right, let's see what the speaking spell has to say. I'm kind of scared, but. Hello, I am the satanic speaking spell. Can you help me find my demonic expansion cartridge? It has words like suffering, pain, and republican. I think I left it in the old meadow to the south of here. Find the expansion cartridge and it's All right, so we got to find his expansion cartridge. Well, as we know, we can't go to uh, the meadow yet, so I guess we'll have to talk, you know, take care of the surfer. 
Let's go get his stuff. Uh, you got anything else to tell stairs. me, Mister Speak and Spell? Oh, we have stairs. stairs. Require a key. Yes, everything in this game requires a key. Yeah, so we can't go up the stairs yet. Down. Okay. I don't see an expansion cartridge in your hand. Go get it now. All right. Well, we better get out of here. He's gonna eat my soul. All right. So they said that the sword. Or the sword, excuse me. We're gonna get a sword. I kind of just blew that out of the water, uh, so to speak. So we gotta go find in the pond somewhere is his surfboard. Should there. Be. Oh, look there. There's a barrel. What do we find? Select surfboard. The barrel is now empty. A surfboard. Now, of course, one thing that I know because I made this game is that uh, sometimes chests are hiding. That have goodies. Treasure chest. Like here. You found the following items. Select an item to add it to your inventory. Health potion X3. The treasure chest. Three is health empty. potions. Well, I'll take that. Nothing wrong with that. We're gonna need those later. All right. So I better better go talk to the surfer again. Welcome time. All right, my surfboard. Listen, have this sword. I think it'll come in handy. Key to metal gate. Key to metal gate and sword. I'll add it to your inventory. All right. So I gotta talk about this for a second. Um, you're actually, you'll you'll notice that it gave me a key. The surfer also adds you a key to the metal. Yeah, it gave he gave me a key to the metal. Now, one of the things that one of the things that Sable did not do when I was building this was you could not invisibly open doors or like unlock them. So you had to lo unlock them with visible keys, but they fixed it now so that I could have like an invisible key and I believe theoretically unlock the door and not have to go through this. But at the moment, this is how we're doing it. So everything requires keys. So we can go to the meadow now, which is cool. So hopefully we can head over there and uh, look for the demonic speak and spell cartridge. Boy, what an adventure we're going on. This is pretty crazy, you guys. All right. Unlock the, the gate. And here we are in Ye old Meadow. Oh, is that a barrel? Oh. Ye old adventurer. Five damage injured. Be old adventurer, please select. Attack. Please select an enemy. Wolf. Oh, I killed him with my fist. Found two gold. I should probably uh, equip that uh, sword. Held in, held in right hand. Please select sword. Held in right hand. Sword. There we go. Game and menu. Please my select save sword game. is equipped. All right, let's go see where that... I don't like that it... Sound is in stereo. Barrel. There we go. You found the following items. Select an item to add it to your inventory. Health potion X4. A bottle containing a foul smelling liquid. Alright, so I have like a ton of health potions. Also, the game started me with some, so I was very generous in how many health potions I gave you. And health potions are just an item I created. And I could create whatever item I want. I could create Anything really. Battle. You encounter one enemy. Be old adventurer, please select. Attack. Please select an enemy. Wolf. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Right. Found two gold. As you can tell, I really did not balance this very well. So everything seems to die in Battle. one hit. You encounter one enemy. Wolf. Be old adventurer. Also, I tried to make the random this encounters not ridiculous attack. either. Please select wolf. Wolf. Um. <laughs> Been defeated. Five so the pain. probabilities are kind of, uh, but look, we're getting experience. Oh. oh, I think that's a, there. what do we got? You found the following items. Select an item to add it to your inventory. Cheap bracers. Cheap bracers and cheap helmet. helmet. Well, I better put those on. Be old adventurers ahead. 
Even though they're cheap. Cheap helmet. This helmet is pretty lame, but it's better than nothing. Head. Cheap helmet. Neck. About body. Body. Held and left. Held and right. Bring on left hand. Bring on wrong hands. Please select. Cheap bracers. These bracers protect your arms. Well, that's what they're supposed to do in theory. On hands. Cheap bracers. Legs. Alright, so we don't have anything else. Treasure chest. Oh wow, a treasure chest. Hmm. You found the following items. Select an item to add to your inventory. Demonic expansion cartridge. A small piece of plastic with metal contacts on one end. The label has a picture of a devil with orange hair and curly horns. Texas Instruments is stamped on the back. Alright, so we're gonna want the treasure that. Chest is now empty. So let's nice head. Day. Oh. That's that smashed barrel. You encounter no, one enemy. Was Evil so good. Please select. Attack. Please select an enemy. Wolf. One Wolf shot. Defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. All right. Now, I believe somewhere I stashed another barrel with a couple more health potions, but I'm not sure where I put them. Metal gate. So. Ye old village. Ye old village. All right. So we're back. I'm gonna check a couple messages really quick before I go turn this quest in. Uh, Alexa says, who did the surfer voice? I did all the voices. New follower, that is correct. Yeah, I don't know how I opened the bear. I just kicked it, I guess. All right, so let me get to a couple things that people are asking. When will this be released? There is a public demo coming out tomorrow. Um, currently, random is not a thing. Uh, I, I, again, prototype. So random randomization is not happening at the moment. Um... I know I was talking to Paul about this, and he's kind of got a list of things he'd like to do, but he's focusing on, like, the most important things. So, uh, all right. So let's uh, turn in this quest. Very good. Thank you for returning my cartridge to me. Here, have a key to go upstairs. Tavern spare key. Tavern spare key and junkyard gate key all added to your inventory. 250 okay. experience gained. Oh, and I got some experience. Level up. The old adventurer is now level four. You also get a key to the junkyard. This will probably come in handy very soon. Oh, the junkyard. Stairs. All right, so let's head upstairs. Now we can go upstairs. And up we are. All right, let's see what we got. Super Liam. Oh, Super Liam? Wait a second. How did you get here? It's Super Liam. Go read the readme for Super Liam if you want to know what he looks like. Eesh. Oh, okay, well, fair enough. Greetings, it's me, Super Liam. What are you looking at me like that for? I had to make a cameo in this game somewhere. Listen, I need your help. I was in the junkyard. It's just south of the meadow, and, uh, well, I lost my pants. I don't want to talk about it. Don't ask. But if you could get them back for me, I can probably reward you with something. So, uh, hop to it. Find Super Liam's pants added to quest log. All right, so we'll check out that quest. Below list of all your active quests. Find Super Liam's pants. Super Liam has lost his pants in the old junkyard. The less time spent thinking about why this happened, the better. Go retrieve Liam's pants for him. All right. So I gotta go find Super Liam's there. pants. The satanic speed and spell. All right. So we've. Oh, what do you have to say? The Anything else? Spell. I have nothing else for you to do. Leave me alone. Okay. Well. All right. So we're gonna go uh, to the junkyard. To find Liam's pants. That sounds. I don't know. I really got nothing to say. I. I. What, what is there to say? We're gonna go find his pants. Okay. Metal. Metal. Okay. So. The old metal. That is. You encounter one enemy. Oh wow! Wolf, wolf right the out of the adventurer. gate. Miss. The old adventure attack. Please select wolf. Oh. Something tells me that I'm probably over leveled for these. Something also tells me I don't care. You encounter one enemy. The old adventurer, please select. Attack, please select wolf. 
Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Battle. You encounter God. one enemy. Wolf. The old adventurer. I feel like I'm playing Manamon again. The old attack. Please select Wolf. Eight damage. Sorry, did injured. I say that? Wolf. The old adventurer. <laughs> Three damage injured. The old attack. Please select Wolf. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience right. gained. Found two gold. Battle. You encounter oh, one enemy. come on, Wolf. man. The old adventurer. Critical hit. Five damage badly injured. The old adventure attack. Defend. The I might need to use a health potion. X please select. The old adventurer. The old adventurer increased HP by 20. Wolf. The old adventurer. Critical hit. Stupid Five damage injured. The old adventure attack. Please select Wolf. There we go. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Battle. You encounter one enemy. Oh, took three steps. Come on, man. One damage injured. The old adventurer, please attack. Please select Wolf. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Now I know with battling that the game uses uh, dice rolls. Battle. So you that's random, Wolf. at least. The old adventurer. <laughs> one damage injured. The old adventure attack. Please select Wolf. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Oh, here's the junkyard gate. Let's go in. The old junkyard. All right, so here's the thing that lets us know. Oh, I hear. Encounter one enemy. Wolf. The old adventure. Oh, wolf. Three damage injured. The old adventure attack. Please select wolf. So there's wolves in the junkyard. Eight damage badly injured. Wolf. The old adventurer. Three damage injured. The old attack. Uh, I can use one out of battle, so I'll make sure to do that. Wolf has been defeated. All right. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Wolf is down. Health potion X9. Please select. The old adventurer. The old adventurer HP restored to full. Health potion X. Perfect. There. You found the following items. Select an item to add it to your inventory. Junkyard treasure chest key. The barrel is now empty. All right, I found a junkyard treasure chest key. Barrel. Oh, there's another barrel. What's in here? You found the following items. Select an item. Cheap boots. Cheap leggings. Cheap boots and cheap the is now leggings. Empty. Below our list of all kinds of Liam's pants. All right, that's the equipment. Equipped head. Cheap neck. About body. Body. Held in left. Held in ring on left hand. Ring on on hand. Legs. Please select. Cheap leggings. Legs. Cheap leggings. Feet. And feet, legs, feet, I'll please, put cheap my boots. cheap boots, feet, boots on. So now I've got some armor. You encounter one enemy. Wolf. The old adventurer. Now there are also slimes Miss. in my attack. junkyard. I just like wolf. haven't run across one yet. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. You encounter one enemy. The old adventurer. Please select. Attack. Please select the wolf. Another wolf. Wolf has been defeated. Five experience gained. Found two gold. Alright, that's gonna go north. And I kinda know my way around my own dungeon, what can I say? I built it. Battle. You encounter two enemies. The old adventurer, please select. Attack. Matthew please select Whitaker an enemy. Donated dollar for super chat. Hi, it's been a while. How are you? Hope hey, Matthew, you how's it going? Day. Slime, slime. Oh, wolf. there's a slime, slime and a wolf. We'll take out the slime first. All right. Slime has been defeated. Wolf, the old adventurer. One Rude. Damage injured. The old attack. Please select wolf. Wolf has been defeated. There we go. Experience gained. Found two gold. You encounter two enemies. Wolf, the old adventurer. A wolf and a slime. One damage injured. Slime, the old adventurer. Four damage injured. The old adventurer, please attack. Please select slime. Die, slime, die. Slime has been defeated. Wolf, the old adventurer. One damage injured. Rude. The old adventure attack. Please, wolf. Wolf has been defeated. 15 experience gained. Found two gold. Okay. 
test. A ribcage fashioned into a container to hold things. That's kind of morbid. You. You found the following items. Select an item to add it to your Super Liam's pants. A pair of fancy pants. You have no idea why these were locked away in the chest, but okay then. The treasure chest is now empty. All right. You so there is. Oh. Old adventurer, please select. Attack. Attack. Flee. Boy, fleed. Okay, cool. All right. So we can quickly get out of here. You encounter one enemy. Be old adventurer, please select. Attack. Flee. Attack. You encounter two enemies. Be old adventurer, flee. Oh good, I'm fleeing. I didn't really make a great dungeon. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I know it's not really that great. I didn't try very hard either. Attack. You encounter two enemies. Slime, the old adventurer. Ah! One damage injured. The old adventurer. Leave. So. Smash barrel. Sue me. Okay. Just made it for fun. Out of the, the old meadow. Now we could make, um, I could make a merchant in the city that would sell potions. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot you can do with this already. But let's go bring back his pants. Because there's nothing worse than a hero with no pants. X12, Y17, Z1, Rat. Old village. All right, and we're gonna go drop off his pants. Hope you appreciate it. Welcome, I had to fight slimes and bust open a ribcage. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there. stairs up. Super Leo. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Now I can cover my unmentionable bits with pants. Instead of newspapers. Thank you. Oh, and as for that reward, uh, it hasn't been coded in yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. Thanks for playing. Even Sky Studios thanks you for using the alpha test version of Sable. For more information, so, check out our website at www. That was uh, a demo of the old below. adventure. Are you sure you want to? I hope yes. you guys enjoyed it. Um. I had fun making it. It was kind of a fun little project to, you know, spend a few hours putting that together. And uh, it was fun. Do we have stat points? Um, My understanding is stats just increase. Um, <laughs> Pratik says I wanted Super Liam back, but not like that. <laughs> um yeah my understanding of stat points right now is you just increase per level I, you know again uh i'm going to use that word prototype so um there's a lot like i mean we were talking about me and paul were talking about this on skype and it was like talking about how it'd be cool to have branching dialogues and a lot of this stuff and it's like well you know you got to start with a prototype and you got to start simple and make sure that it's going to be worth it. And that's kind of the big, the big thing is that, will this be popular? Are people going to want to use it? Matthew Whitaker donated dollar through super. Oh, thank chat. you, Matthew. Amazing. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a really cool system. Sable is neat. I have to say, I think they did a really awesome job on it. There's not a lot I can complain about other than I like features. I'm sitting here going, it'd be really cool if it do this. It'd be cool if it would do that, but really, you know, for what it does, it's not bad uh, for being a, a prototype. You know, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to thank you guys for being here. I know it's only 2.30, and I actually thought this was going to go a little longer. Um, I just didn't want to spend too much time on the building aspect of things because 
uh, I know that seeing something being played is way more interesting than seeing it being built. Um, so anyways, I do want to tell you guys that I, like I said, I did get an upgraded machine. I won't get it till next month, but uh, my hope is to do some more mainstream games on Twitch. Uh, I'm kind of learning that if I do them over here, you guys don't enjoy them. Uh, Rhythm Heaven, I thought was a lot of fun. People weren't really enjoying it, though. Uh, so I'm probably just not going to do that, do that over here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I was really hoping that, um, you know, more people would be down with that uh people have been asking where do i get this it's not out yet it will be out tomorrow uh but it is not released yet so if you're looking for it it's just it's not here yet you gotta wait uh be patient it'll be out tomorrow and not before then so uh overall opinions um, because I know people probably want those. I think it's cool. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. My two complaints are that, um, it's written, the prototype is written in BGT and there's no scripting. Um, but so far you don't really need scripting. What you need though are robust options and, uh, we've got some, there's other things that we're missing, but like overall it's pretty solid. Um, I'd like to see the ability to make more types of quests, i.e. kill a certain number of something, um, collect other things, maybe talk to somebody else to push a quest forward. But again, I'm going to use that word. I, we should count on how many times I use the word prototype. Um, it's prototype. So, I mean, again, you know, it, it just shows that the sky could be the limit with this. And then that's cool. I, my, my thing is I'd like to see something where people can make really cool and interesting things. And I think this has the potential for that. Now, whether people will use it, that's a whole different kettle of fish. I don't know. Uh, but I hope they do. I hope they do. I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, I think Evan Sky has done a really, really killer job on this so far. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. I really am. I'm, I'm excited to see what is in the future for these guys. And uh, I hope you are too. Anyways, it is time for us to skadoodle. I want to thank all my awesome patrons for being awesome patrons. Thanks to Leah Dudley, Anya Kristen, Austin Nix, Bianca Sneer, Jason Smith, Jim Denham, Kenny, Kevin Lyon, Michael Maslow, Sarah Hawk, Shane Davidson, Simon Yeager, Stephen Luttrell, Trevor Johnson, Axel Schrul, Bryant, Chad Blanco, Changeling, Jack Filichek, Courtney Barton, Marilyn Via, Roland, Shane Early, and the Evil Chocolate Cookie. Thanks to all you guys that are patrons. Thanks to everyone who has donated. Thanks to everyone who has super chatted. Uh, thanks to everyone who sent condolences about Michelle. I really do appreciate it. It's a tough loss. Um, you know. It's just... You know, it's one of those things where it's, yeah, you know, um, yeah. So anyways, I want to thank all you guys for being here. This was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully we can do it again soon. Uh, I don't know what's coming next for the channel. Um, I'd like to do more rhythm heaven, but like I said, it's been slim pickings when I do it. So I don't know. Uh, new Mortal Kombat updates coming out on May 26th. I will stream that on Twitch. I'm not going to stream it here for a few reasons, but mainly I just don't want to stream it here. I'm going to stream it on Twitch probably, or I might just play by myself and enjoy it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for being here. I could not do it without you. 
stream.l-works.net. You can find links to donate. You can find links to join the Discord. Uh, so please do that if you're into the Discord. We've got the Discord. But I am out of here. And I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching and or listening. Bye.